Hi Cancer, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot Astrology and Spirituality. I'm here to do your February tarot scopes. This is for your sun sign, rising sign. Or if your moon is in Cancer or any other major placement that you feel is important. You know, some people have two or three planets uh, in Cancer. You know, by all means, uh, have a look at this reading. Okay, so this is a general reading. So it doesn't replace the need or... Indeed, if you had planned for a one-on-one -on -one reading, um, but it can be, uh, it can spark your intuition and it can be used as a guide. If it resonates, claim it. If not, come back and look at it again in the mid-month. You might want to look at your rising sign and your moon sign as well, the readings on my channel, because you get a fuller picture uh, what, uh, of course, your sun sign is your essential essential you. Your rising sign is the way that we outwardly present to the world. And the moon card uh, is your emotional makeup uh, and emotional life. So if you want to get that balanced picture, please check out my other readings. Let's get started. I'm using the Secret Language of Light Oracle for you. Followed by the Cosmic Tarot, clarifying with the Aquarian Tarot. Okay, let's get started. Cancerians, what's coming up for you in February 2022? For my friends, the Cancerians. What's coming up for Can... Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, so for somebody, I'm seeing you might be needing or going to have an eye test or you might need an eye test don't put that off there's nothing wrong with you but it's time to get your eyes checked so i can see an op ophthalmologist looking doing the the eye test so you know maybe you need to have your glasses checked or there's something around an eye test there for you For others, it could be uh, focusing, really honing their focus in February or a need to not be fragmented. I'm hearing like pushed around in some way. That's odd. And being focused will prevent that. Not allowing people to push you too far. Calling the shots cancer is what you need to do in February if you find that others are dominating or trying to push you into areas you don't want to go show me cancer in February 2022 all right so we have here the soul writing for some you might need to put pen to paper for others this could be focusing in on your uh, what is written uh, for you for you for you, for you in this lifetime, uh, and people often say, "Well, what are uh, you know what are the Akashic records? How do I access them?" Well, you look at you look at your you look within, you understand what you need to do, how you need to do it. Uh, I think with you, given that your you know your emotions are what you live by if there's any body or anything you need to do that you intuitively know you need to do anybody you need to contact anything you need to do do it it's part of the journey you might feel that there's part of there's a literally a journey that you might want to take and you've been putting it off but in February, you decide to go. It might be there's an old school friend that you need to contact. Or an old friend that you need to reconnect with. You might find yourself wanting to express the inner you a little bit more than what you're currently doing. What is your soul's purpose? You might be contemplating that soul love now this is interesting these cards aren't random cancer soul writing and soul love there's a real focus here on you 
seems trite to say your soul, but on your soul's development and your soul's evolution and your soul's purpose and essentially who you are. This is not your mind. This is your spirit. This is your soul. Variance. That's interesting. So what is out of balance here? What do you need to shift one way or another? There could be frequencies coming in that you, when I say frequencies, yeah, channeling. There could be messages coming in, frequencies opening to you. I'm very, um, very aware of this looks like a, you know, that kind of line of communication from those who have passed over very interesting reading cancer and enlightenment listen listen at the soul level you're being contacted you somebody's reaching out to you in spirit and there's they're seeking this higher evolution of your soul in doing so this is something bursting forward it will be a very meaningful month for some Cancerians as a result of the frequencies that they're open to. The spirit for you spiritually, February, is a meaningful month. Here's your focus. Maybe that's what your focus is in February on your spiritual journey, on your soul's focus, what you came here to do. You will know what I mean. Okay, let's look at the Cosmic Tarot. I, I sometimes uh, am in awe of the messages in these tarot scopes that Spirit has given me, particularly this month. There has been a, they're longer, the readings this month, and there has been real channeling coming through in all the tarot scopes that I've done and through the cards that I'm using. On my uh, left hand column is uh, the past, middle column is the present, outer column on my right is the future. What's coming up for Cancerians in February 2022? Cancerians in 2022. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you've had some kind of new beginning in the past. Right now, there's wish fulfillment, miracles happening, could even be with a partner. Things are, this energy is vibrant that you've moved into. You will be busy. Things are speeding up. There has been a period in the past where you felt like things were against you. But there's victory here at the moment and a lot of work for you to do. You've manifested new starts. You've taken control. My word, beautiful cards. And at the base of the pack is the Empress. The Mother, abundance, a season of time, something coming to fruition in time. The harvest occurring in a period of time. The first to these cards, Cancer, let's take a look. They're very positive, by the way. It's almost like this is a preordained time for you. The Ace of Swords, some kind of major, major new start mentally for you. Clarified by the Seven of Swords, you may have felt depleted. This is a mental energy here. It's not an emotional energy that has been depleting you in the past. It's been this mental worry, feeling of doom and gloom uh, often occurs when our lives are not going the way that we want them to. We crave the new, but we're stuck in the old. But somehow things have changed for you in the past and they have been good changes. In the present, we've got the Nine of Cups. You can expect a miracle. There's a victory and you are taking control you could be dealing with an Aries as well. In the future, we have the Eight of Wands. Things coming in very quickly. 
The Eight of Pentacles. You are picking up more and more work. And the King of Swords, you need to focus. You need to develop a plan and a strategy, perhaps to manage the work that's coming in in the future. Show me the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the, Ace of, uh, the Eight of Wands, Seven of Swords, Six of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Emperor, King of Swords, please, in that order for Cancerians to clarify these cards. So we have here the Ace of Wands. You were walking a tightrope. The Wish Fulfillment. We've got your card, can, the Moon. So emotions, emotions. What's your Wish Fulfillment? Your emotions are stabilised. The Eight of Wands. Now you may have been isolated in the past. All of that is changing. Over the Seven of Wands, there was heartbreak and loss in the past. Perhaps a feeling of being betrayed. Sometimes it's we, us, betraying ourselves. Over the Six of Wands and Victory. Here's your card again, Queen of Cups. This is powerful. You're a cardinal sign for a reason. Eight of Pentacles, King of Swords, twice. There is a need with your work to draw up a diary to crystallize plans and strategies, manage your appointments better, compartmentalize things so that you manage you manage your workload a lot better. It could be your workload, your domestic duties, your caring duties, whatever they are. You could also be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy here as well. The Ace of Pentacles, wow, this manifestation of a new start. Um, you know, yes, money is important, but for you, uh, it is that Knight of Cups energy. It's, it's about love. It's about giving and receiving love. That's where I think the upturn has been for you. The Emperor card, taking control over your anxieties. I'm really pleased to hear that. King of Swords and Emperor, you are in control. Cancer, no longer walking a tightrope. You are in control. The base of the pack, we have the King of Pentacles. His Al Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Wherever your Capricorn is as well, you might need to pay attention to that. There's something around new starts with that Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords here again. A truth coming forward, a new start. Ten of Cups, the family card, the unconditional love card. If things aren't where you want them to be right now, they soon will be in February. These cards are among some of the best that I've seen in relation to new cycles for you. Pay attention to the cards that I pulled around soul writing, soul focus, the journey of your soul in February. Spiritual evolution, spiritual connection, spiritual interaction is extremely important for you in February. Take the time, make the time, put the focus on it. Because there's somebody wanting to speak to you in, in spirit, Cancer. And they have a message for you. They have a message for you. So there's a frequency stepping up into a higher frequency, being more open to messages from spirit that I think is a really important message to give you for February 2022. Thanks for tuning in, my Cancerian friends. I'll be back again with another reading soon. Bye for now.